There is. Can we start? No. See, uh, modeling tools, um, modeling tools are part of develop schedule process. Now, when you talk about modeling techniques, there are two <coughs> modeling techniques which are used. Uh, uh, one is what if scenario analysis. Another is Monte Carlo simulation. Now, what is what if scenario analysis? Analysis. Now, in what if you know, uh, we think about various risks associated with the schedule, right? And we also plan for the fallback actions corresponding to those risks. If you see a schedule of a motion picture, you will see a lot of what is built in. For example, you know, when you talk about a typical project like motion picture, the cost of set and the equipment's use is very huge. So a delay in schedule cost the producer a huge amount of money. So you, you know, for example, let's say they're shooting, a shooting is being done in a monsoon season. Now, if it rains, they have an alternative plan to shoot a indoor sequence also, right? So they proactively plan this. They mitigate the risk by having a fallback plan or a what if scenario in place. So these scenarios are built in, in certain projects to mitigate risk. This is what if scenario analysis, which is again a kind of a modeling technique. Another modeling technique is Monte Carlo. Now, in Monte Carlo, what you do is you do simulation of all the possible inputs. Now, let's take a take a very very small example of Monte Carlo. Let's take a very very small project, and this small project has two activities, A and B. Now, the in the best case scenario, activity A can be completed in one day. Optimistic time for activity A is one. Most likely scenario activity A can be completed in two days and in the worst case scenario this can be completed in three days which is pessimistic time. Similarly the optimistic most likely and pessimistic time for B are two, three and four. Now let's see how how you know by combining various inputs how by simulating various inputs you can have different time duration for the project that involves activity A and B. Now scenario one Scenario 1 can be activity A getting completed in optimistic time, right? A getting completed in optimistic time, which is what? 1. And activity B also getting completed in optimistic time, which is 2. Scenario 2, A getting completed in 1, right? And B getting completed in 3. A getting completed in Again, optimistic and B getting completed in worst case scenario, which is 4. Right? Now, so A is an optimistic and B, I have taken all the cases. I get following duration for the project. It, project can be completed in 3 days also, can be completed in 4 days also, can be completed in 5 days also. Now, let's see other combinations also. Another combination could have been a getting completed in most likely, which is two days, right? B in optimistic, again two days. A again in most likely, B in three days, three days which is most most likely. A again optimistic and B in pessimistic, which is four. So what are the possible durations? Four, four five, six, five, five, six, six. six. Right? Now the third scenario could have been. A getting completed in pessimistic. the worst case scenario or the pessimistic three days. B getting completed in optimistic. Again, B getting completed in most likely, and then B getting completed in the worst case scenario. What are the duration we get? Five, six, and seven. Now, what did you notice from these outcomes? If you see these outcomes. Which is the duration that repeats most of the times? Five. five. Right? Five is coming how many times? Three times. Right? Now, for the total project, can I assume five as a most likely scenario? Yes. yes. Right? Can I take five as a most likely value? Most likely value can be taken as five. Or I can say T 
M. Now, what is the best case scenario here? Three. 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 Right? So optimistic can be taken as can be taken as three days. Right? Now, what is the worst case scenario? Seven. Seven. So pessimistic can be taken as Can be taken as how many days? Seven days. Seven days. Now, can I apply three point estimates here to find out the expected time? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Can I apply three point estimates? Right? I can find out the expected time assuming that the distribution is beta by using the formula optimistic plus four times most likely plus pessimistic by six. 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 Five. I can also find out the standard deviation by using the formula P minus, minus O by six, right? Then I can relate the expected time with the probability of success. So this is in brief about Monte Carlo. Now, just to simplify, I took only two activities in the project. If the number of activities increase, right? What will happen? The number of combination will be more. For example, let's say. The number of activities are three, and tell me how many combinations will be there. Simple permutation combination, guys. Sixteen. See, if there are three activities, how many possible combinations will be there? Sixteen. Sixteen. Each outcome. Twenty-seven. Three raised to the power n. Right, so twenty-seven combination. Now, as the number of activities increases, the combination will also increase accordingly. There are tools that can help you out in carrying out the simulation. So you don't need to worry about the number of activities.